Strong permanent goat fencing going out from the bucks and from the does shelters is high on our priority list. I'm starting with the bucks. Day one was just laying out where the fence lines should go. I didn't shoot any video of that. Wendy had a cell phone app with aerial photos of our property and used GPS to pin where the corners go. We just walked it out here on the land and stuck flags where the corners are. Then I came back with rebar stakes and string so I could have nice straight lines to work with. Goats can be pretty hard on fences, so we're going to go with groups of five metal T-posts separated by more substantial wood posts. And of course we'll use wood for the H-braces in the corners and around gates. This is not a quick project. I won't be done before I have to be back in Oregon to get our place out there fixed up and ready to sell. It was raining all day yesterday and I didn't get anything done out here. But it was pretty good timing because hopefully all this rain will help soften the ground a little bit and make pounding in those T-posts a little easier. I put in T-posts the old-fashioned way before. But this scale is a little intimidating. We wanted our goats to have all the room here in Missouri that they didn't have back in Oregon. This is a gas-powered T-post driver. We bought it used from a local farm supply store. Just so you know how things are laid out, I put rebar stakes everywhere a wood post will go, and I've just laid out the T-posts along the string. Our spacing is about 10 feet apart. I tried a couple posts off camera, and the hardest part was getting the T-post driver onto the T-post and level and upright and keeping the end right where it needed to be on the ground. It was just very awkward trying to do all that heavy lifting up above my head. So I think I'll make it a little bit easier on myself and start things off with that old manual post driver just so it's sticking in the ground at the right place save myself all that hassle of trying to struggle with it. This is Missouri, and we've got an awful lot of rocks down there, so the T-posts are more than likely going to be hitting rocks. And you know, that slows it down, so it's not, it's not as super fast as you might think a gas-powered T-post driver would be, but wow, it's a lot less effort than doing it all manually. Another way I'm making things a little bit easier on myself, I've marked with tape on the T-post about where I want to go down into the ground. We're going about two feet down, and I'm putting the smooth side of the T-post just right against the string, so it just slides right down without a lot of friction. Are you ready to see a quick time lapse? Hey kid! Never let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless
make some progress I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb And I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless To say a couple things about this machine. It's a Titan 2000X. It's meant for smaller operations, not the big commercial jobs where you're running miles of fence line. And I'm glad it's on the lighter side as far as gas powered post drivers go because I'm using muscles I don't normally do and it is tiring. It may have been easier for someone more intuitive about engines and mechanics, but reading the instructions, it took me a while to find the priming pump. It's tucked right back in here. Also, the instructions referred to an on-off switch that this machine doesn't actually have. I had to watch YouTube videos just so I could figure out what they were talking about. This machine just has a stop button, not an on switch. I actually prefer that. It's a little simpler. You just start it up and when you want it to stop, you push, push the stop button. The machine does start pretty easy. I'm pretty happy about that. The engine noise itself wasn't as loud as I was thinking it was going to be. The pounding on the post, I'm sure that would get to you after a while. I was glad I had the ear protection. You'll probably have an easier time using something like this than I did. Here in Missouri, we've got a lot of rocks in the soil. Normally, you hit a rock with a T-post and you just move it over a little bit so you miss that rock. Well, just about every single T-post hit a rock at some point. So it wouldn't really matter if I move the T-post, I'm just gonna hit another rock. The cumulative power of this machine is impressive though. If the rocks were small enough, eventually it would break through the rock or just shove it out of the way. Let me get a close up of the top of one of the T-posts because that really illustrates the power of this machine. I'm using all new T-posts on this project. This damage is just from the driver itself. I am not a professional at this, and I'm afraid it shows. This T-post hit something on the way in and turned itself almost completely perpendicular. So I'm gonna have to pull this out and put it back in. Fortunately for me, somebody invented T-post puller. Here it goes. 
screws. Alright, it may not be perfect, but it's as good as I can do it. I've got 40 T-posts in the ground for our bucks. I'll show them to you real quick. Remember, the gaps are where wood posts are going to go. The elephant in the room is this giant pile of cleared trees. There's several piles just like this around the property, all stacked here before we bought the place. Wendy prefers this material not be in here with the goats, but I just don't have the wherewithal to safely remove this. I've reached out to a local charity that sells firewood to fundraise. I haven't heard back from them yet, but there's a lot of value as firewood in this stuff, and they can have it for free if they can haul it off. Digging holes and setting wood posts in cement is going to have to wait for me to get back from Oregon anyway, so waiting to possibly schedule something with this organization fits in with what's going on right now. We'll continue the fencing work in another video. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thank you for taking this trip around the moon with us.